Thanks ShipStation for sponsoring this video. This is the most expensive and exquisite ingredient I ever came across. Just opening this box gives me chills. I mean, take a look at this thing. It's almost like a jewel. You see, on my recent trip to Italy, I had a lot of different experiences. Some of them are completely unforgettable. I'll be making more videos about it real soon because I wanted to start with this special ingredient. It is balsamic vinegar, but not all balsamic are created equal. This one comes straight from where it was all invented, Modena in Italy. And the reason this one is extremely expensive is because it was aged for over a hundred years. Yes, you heard it right. That is a long time. The flavors that comes out of this thing is almost unexplainable. It is slightly sweet. Of course, it has the acidity needed, but just overall perfect. Now, here's the big question. Even though I love balsamic vinegar, will this extremely expensive one make my steaks better? Can it produce a flavor that is going to be extremely desirable? Well, we're going to find out today as I will be pairing it up with these beautiful steaks. Now, I chose filet mignon for a good reason. Many people say that they lack flavor, but the tenderness is there. And my hopes is that the balsamic vinegar is going to make these the best filet mignons I've ever had in my life. But first, we gotta get them seasoned. And I did that with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. One of the biggest mistakes most people make is not seasoning it properly. So make sure to season not only both sides, but also the edges. As you can see, once I was done, these steaks are now perfectly seasoned. And since we got a few of them, I gotta test out the balsamic vinegar several different ways. And the first one is gonna be this, an incredible compound butter. Now here's where things gets really interesting. Because to make it, it is ridiculously easy and here's how. The first thing to do is to choose a butter. I went with Kerrygold. It has a nice wonderful flavor and an incredible gold color. Notice that it is room temperature, that's exactly what I want. I don't want to put this one in the food processor, so I'll be doing everything by hand. The next thing to do is to go ahead and add that expensive balsamic vinegar. What I'm trying to do here is to enhance the flavor of the filet mignon, not make it taste like balsamic vinegar. So adding the right amount is key. As once I was done, this is what it looks like. The most expensive butter I ever made in my life. And I cannot wait to find out how it's gonna taste with the steaks. But I also wanted to find out what a cheaper version of balsamic vinegar would do. So I went ahead and purchased this one. It is not only a huge difference in price, but also in age, as this one is 50 years old. Pairing this up with Parmesan cheese is just to die for. I'm talking about the real Dio Parmigiano Reggiano. And pairing it up with the balsamic vinegar, come on now. That is an experience on its own. Another great thing to do is to pair it up with some grapes. These are teardrop grapes. They are hard to find. However, the taste that comes from them is extremely exquisite. And pairing them up with a 50 years old balsamic vinegar is just an experience by itself. I think this is what they serve you when you go to heaven. Since this one is only 50 years old, it allows me to go ahead and make a sauce to go along with our steaks. Because trust me, I am not doing that for the 100 year old one. Now to make this sauce is super simple and here's how. Into a pan I threw in two tablespoons of butter, followed by some shallots and garlic. Cooked it under medium low heat so that it can get translucent. Notice that I did not get any browning and that is exactly what I was looking for. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and add that balsamic vinegar. A good amount. Now we want to mix everything together and cook it for about two minutes. Do not let it reduce for too long. We're using the highest quality of balsamic vinegar. As after about two minutes it was time to strain. Then I threw it back into the pan under low heat and added a little bit more of butter. Keeping it under low heat, I combine both ingredients together. As once I have done so, my sauce is done. It does not get any easier than that. And this is going to be incredible to go along with our filet mignons. Talking about that, to have a full meal, all it's missing is an incredible side dish, as this one was inspired by Chef John. Now I know what you might be thinking. They look like little cheese balls, but they're not. These are potatoes, very fancy potatoes. Now even though they're fancy, to make them it's super easy and here's how. After peeling some potato, I used a tool like this to get a nice even circular shape. I mean, take a look at it once I was done. We got a bunch of potato balls ready to be cooked. Talking about that, I went ahead and seasoned my water and boiled them until they were slightly soft. It took about four minutes because once they were still firm but soft, I strained them and into a new pan, I threw in some exquisite clarified butter. I made a full 
whole video about this butter before. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out later on. Because the only thing left to do now is to fry them up on this wonderful butter. As once I was happy with the color, my potatoes were done. I finished them off with a little bit of salt and parsley. And potatoes do not get any fancier than this. But who cares how fancy they really are? The big question is how do they taste with the steaks? Well, we're gonna be finding out really shortly. Because the only thing left to do is to go ahead and grill these beautiful filet mignons. And first, I'm gonna be putting a nice sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 125. For that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook some beautiful steaks, so let's do it. Does that look good or what? And before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, ShipStation. Now is the most wonderful and hectic time of the year. Everyone puts off shopping to the last minute. And if you have an online store, you know the feeling of getting hit with tons of orders at once. But with ShipStation, you can keep your customers happy and still find time to enjoy an amazing holiday feast with some juicy, delicious prime rib. So if you're still using the default shipping option to run your online store, you're probably putting up with a lot of unnecessary hassle and limiting your growth. With ShipStation, you can manage every order from one simple dashboard Board, automate shipping tasks, print shipping labels, and compare rates and delivery time to optimize every shipment. And of course, they work with your favorite places to sell online. Save time, money, and stress during the holiday rush. Sign up using my promo code and you'll even get two months to try it free. And notice how quick and easy it is to set up. This holiday season, give yourself the gift of stress-free holiday shipping. Go to ShipStation.com slash Foods today and sign up for a free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Foods. Thanks, ShipStation, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful filet mignons today, gentlemen. Huh? Look at him. Look at this boy. Look at him. <laughs> Why is filet mignon your favorite? Because it's the best. So as you guys can see, I have three steaks going on. I have a little experiment today, all right? And it's all about this. Now, this is a balsamic vinegar sauce. And uh, I'm curious to find out which one you guys like best. And then we got also a little side dish right here. It looks Those are like, cute, bro. Uh, they look like cheese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they do. It's they potatoes. Do. That's potato? Yeah, that's potatoes. Enough talking. Let's give this a try. Give me your honest opinion. Sounds like a plan? I'm yes, ready. Sir. All right, let's go. Please dig in. Let's give this a go. You ready for it, Leo? Yeah, I was just admiring this crust. It does look like a perfect crust on this filet mignon. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Woo! I can understand why you like filet mignon. That is a good, well-seasoned filet mignon steak right there. A lot of people say that filet mignon don't have flavor. I completely disagree with that. This is so fire. <laughs> Overall, really good filet mignon steak. All right, very good. Enough talking. Now, that was delicious, but let's go for the second one. Ready? All right, damn, wow. What? You really like this video today, huh? Filet mignon is my favorite. You guys both know that. Enough talking? Let's give it a go right now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. God, man. That is very different. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. That is a mature taste, everybody. That's really good. It's a little sweet. It's a little buttery. It's yep. extremely garlicky because of all the garlic that I put. It's nice and creamy. I think that this balsamic glaze has a very premium feel. It's sometimes with balsamic glaze, if it's very tart, it, it feels kind of like cheap. But this is like really smooth. That's how I would describe it, right? You get like a sweetness. The sweetness really comes through and it balances it. I just gotta say, it is perfect. Absolutely delicious. It almost reminds me of like a teriyaki glaze, less than a balsamic yeah, vinegar. Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. You better not call this teriyaki glaze. No, it's I, way too expensive to be teriyaki. That's exactly where I was going. I was about to say, I know for sure it's probably way more expensive than some teriyaki. Take it back because okay, that costs take, a lot of money. I, I take it back. <laughs> 
Now let's try the little cheese ball that has no cheese on it. <laughs> Let me know about these. It's little cute little potatoes. These little cute balls, everybody. That's all I gotta say. What? Some cute balls. I like me some balls. What? All right, all right. Hold oh, on. Wow, now we're going way too far. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a nice ball, especially Guga. if it's perfectly Guga. round and no, golden no, like this. No, Guga, this is a family channel. Enough talking. Let's give these a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's Ooh. so good. Ooh, that's good. good. It's like crispy on the outside. It's like so soft yeah. on the inside. Mm -hmm. Very fluffy interior. Really like it. With all that being said, that was delicious. Now I'm ready for the last one. Let's do it. Please dig in. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This one is different too. This one smells very different. Enough talking. Let's go for it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's wow. The that's oh. the winner. <laughs> wow. Why is it so good? <laughs> is that vinegar too? A Damn, very extremely, is... like painfully expensive <laughs> vinegar with a very nice, delicious butter. It's a little bit more savory. It's creamy. I will say it doesn't have like crazy balsamic flavors. But it's there. It's like subtle. It tastes really nice. It complements the actual steak flavors very well. This is a home run. This one, you feel a little bit more of the acidity and the flavor because it's a sauce. This one is just there to make the perfect balance, everybody. I just wish it was not so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about that, Andrew? That one is your favorite? That's your number one? These are all my favorite. <laughs> Whenever you make a compound butter of anything, this one right here is like a little bit better than all of the other ones. Leo, which one is your favorite? My favorite is the balsamic vinegar compound butter. 100% agree. If you guys are wondering, that one is my favorite too, everybody. There's something special about a 100 years old balsamic vinegar, by the way. I'm not gonna get sick though, No, right? are you crazy? That I don't is, know. That's like fine wine. You just get better with age. <laughs> by the way, right. this one is 50 years old. Oh, okay. So we got 50 years old and then we got 100 years old. That's well, really if interesting. If you wanna know, the 100 year old is better. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.